Good morning and welcome back to my channel, Old Bold Man's Adventures. Today I'm doing about uh, four ethels, I hope. Uh, pretty easy one, so. Uh, with about uh, six and a half, six and a half mile hike in all total. Um, got an easy one at the moment. Going up to Higator, which is an uh, easy uh, ethel to back straight from the road. So I'm going to back this one. Come back down, hopefully get out this wind, I'll get back to you. Well, that's Sigator bagged, and uh, while I was trying to get a action shot up on the hill, the uh, my flask fell out, and um, it's, it's wedged itself in between one of these rocks. So I'm having a scramble now along here to try and find uh, try and find my flask, a coffee. Oh. <laughs> um, that's a great start to the uh, day. But it's, uh, the sun's coming out and there's only a 20% chance of rain, so uh, I'm going to look forward to this one. That's the first one done, and three more to go. This was an easy one though, Higger. Higger. Um, oh, blimey neck, whatever it's called. Higger Hill? Higger Edge? I can't remember. <laughs> Old age. Old age uh, catching up on me. Anyway, this is an easy one to bag, so uh, straight up the road, and uh, it's, it's virtually dead flat all the way here. Right, let's go and try and find uh, find my flask. See if I can find it successfully. I know where it's gone. It's down, gone down a crevice, but uh, I should be able to get to it. Success! By the way, it's Higator. There you go. I had to look at the map though. I couldn't remember it. Old age creeping up on me, I think. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Right, well the next one is uh, White Path Moss. Uh, I hope you can hear me in this wind. So the next one's White Path Moss and uh, that was, yeah, it looks really easy, it looks like there might be a trick point on top actually. But there's a road that goes up the side of it and it's very busy. You see all the cars up here so I don't think, to tell you the truth, this is going to be a very quiet uh, walk. It's just so accessible to everybody. Anyway. White Pass Moss. Here we come.
right okay that's uh, right past Moston um, there's about five or six people up here which is not great but never mind uh, so that's number two number three on our way I'll let you know uh, what it is either when I get there or uh, if this wind dies down because it's really really windy and I can't get a lot of uh, talking done which is probably good really for you guys anyway I'm gonna carry on the old old man keeps on going and uh, next Ethel here we go again well uh, I'm battling it across this ridge line you can see it with uh, heavy wind and uh, when it rains which is only very slight it's so strong with the wind that it uh, stings against your face so I'm battling but I'm getting there high nab which is about another mile and a half up there that's the next ethel and then there's another ethel over here I don't know if you can see it there seems to be a lot of people going up to it it's that pole up there I forgot the name of the pole but when I get there I'll know it <laughs> so that's the next place after this next ethel so this ethel high nab then up here to the pole, that's another Ethel, which I've forgotten the name of at the moment, which I'll get back to you on. And uh, it's just a hard battle along this ridge. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, don't get me wrong. And I'm really enjoying it, apart from the amount of people. I mean, looking at the pole, there's 20, 30 people up there and another two going up. So hopefully by the time I get there, they'll all be gone. But it looks like they're all going to come back to High Nab. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so uh, that's where I'm going. And uh, I get along here and hopefully somewhere at High Nab I can stop and uh, have something to eat. And uh, have, a, have that cup of tea. No, not tea, coffee. Have that cup of coffee that uh, uh, my flask fell out and uh, I managed to uh, gain back again. So that's good news. Anyway, I'll keep on going. I'm going to try and take as much uh, shots as I can. But to say it's pretty bleak up here. Um, and all you'll see is just uh, me battling against the wind and the rocks and the, and the rain and ah, oh, but it's brilliant. Anyway, catch you guys later.
it is that shelter I said that I was uh, seen in the distance. I'm just coming up to it now. Um, I think it'll be okay. I'll sit in there and uh, have some sandwiches. God, dear. Whoever built this shelter, very good. Hang on, let's just have a quick look at it. There you go. Ooh. There. We're in. Uh, yeah. Well. Oh. Let's have a look so you can see me guys. Well, I'm in the shelter. Um, looks like another guy's coming up actually on his way to uh, high nap. I don't know if he's coming down here. Yeah, he's coming down here. I think. I think he's going to come in this shelter as well. So uh, I'm going to have something to eat and I'm going to leave you guys and uh, get back to you. Okay. Take care. See you soon. Well, since I've been sat here having my cheese sandwich and uh, a cup of coffee, the weather's starting to improve, so that's really, really good. It's brightening up out there. So uh, I was thinking about bailing, um, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go to, uh, I think it's uh, Stanage Pole. I think that's the next one, the next Ethel, which will be number four. I've just finished at uh, uh, the NAB, and uh, believe it or not, it's uh, <laughs> it's gone from my memory. Hang on, I'll have a look, see what it is. I'll look at my map. Uh, been Hi, NAB. Hi, NAB. <laughs> so, I've just finished Hi, NAB. As I say, I'm now shattering in this lovely shelter what somebody's built. Fantastic. It really is good. Uh, it's a lifesaver, this one, I tell you. Weather's clearing up. I don't know if you can see in the distance. Right over in the mist is where I come from. And that's where I'm going back to. But I'm going via the pole first. So up to the pole. And then come back straight along to the edge down there. Oh, well, I'm going to finish another cup of coffee and uh, give myself about another five minutes and then I'll uh, get on and uh, do the last one for today. Um, whew, bit of a hard day. It's been good though because when the rain came in uh, everybody left <laughs> so I'm here all on my own apart from one bloke I saw going up towards the nab um, which he's never come back. I thought he was going to come back and sit in here with me and have a chat but he's obviously gone on so uh, that's really good. I'm on my own again which is the way I like it. Okay, I'll get back to you when uh, I start off and uh, when I get to the next pole, uh, next Ethel. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, here we go then. that it's brightening up wow and that's where it's coming in from over there so it looks like uh, the brightening up is only short-lived but anyway off we go next Ethel to go
everybody. I'm on my way home now. Uh, four Ethels bagged, which is fantastic. And uh, uh, I hope you're enjoying them. Um, I'd like to thank uh, people for uh, subscribing to the channel. I now have got uh, 100 subscribers and over. So thank you for that. It's really, really appreciated. I know people get thousands and thousands, but I tell you, even to get 100 is fantastic. So thank you very much indeed, guys. I really do appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe and you haven't subscribed already. And uh, I'll see you all on the next adventure. I've got lots and lots of ethyls to do. And uh, I've got some big stuff coming up in May, June. And you really want to start watching that, guys. It's going to be some major epic stuff. So for now, I'll say goodbye. And thanks for watching. And uh, keep on trodding and keep on plodding. See you guys later.